Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at uh, a couple examples on binomial random variable. In this one it says rolling a die, assume die is fair, and each six outcomes has equal probability of 1 over 6, and let n10 denote the number of sixes in the first 10 rolls of the die. What kind of random variable is n10? Well because it represents the number of successes in 10 trials, it is a uh, binomial random variable. So the answer is n10 follows binomial distribution with n equals 10 and p equals 1 over 6. Part b is asking for probability of n10 equals 0. What that means is, what's the probability of zero successes in, in 10 uh, rolls of uh, this die? 10 choose 0, 1, 6 to 0, 5, 6 to, uh, not, to 10. And here I'm just following the PMF formula to calculate this probability. And 10 choose 0 is number of ways of choosing 0 items out of uh, 10 items. And that is obviously one way, but you can confirm that calculating it with the formula. Uh, 10 factorial over 10 factorial times 0 factorial. And here I have to tell you that 0 factorial is equal to 1. So keep that in mind. It's not 0. 0 factorial is equal to 1. Therefore, this uh, whole thing is equal to uh, 1 times 1 times 5, 6 to 10. And if you do the math, that is equal to 16%. So there's 16% chance that you get 0 sixes in 10 rolls of this die. What is a uh, probability of 1 success in 10 rolls? Well, that is 10 choose 1, 1, 6 to 1, 5, 6 to 9. And here, 10 choose 1 is when you cancel these two with each other, uh, you're left up with 10 up there, and you have 1 in the denominator, so it's 10. That is 0.323, about 32% chance that you only get 1 six out of ten rolls. What is the probability of two successes? Again, you can do that the same way. And that is 29%. Now here is the interesting part of this problem. Given that two of the first seven rolls are six, what is the probability that four of the first ten rolls are six? So let's read that again. Given that two of the first seven rows are six. Basically, out of seven trials, we got two successes. Right? What is the probability that out of ten trials, we get four successes? So we have to incorporate this given information into our calculations. If we want to write this down in a more mathematical, statistical way is we want to calculate probability of n10 equals to 4, right? Given that n7 is equal to 2. And n7 equals to 2 comes from this part. So if you have uh, tried seven trials, so we have three more trials left, right? We already got two successes. We need two more successes in the next three trials. So that is equal to probability of n3 equals 2. And you can calculate that with 3, choose 2, 1, 6 to 2, 5, 6, to 1. 3 choose 2, you cancel these two, you have 3 up here, and 1 factorial is just 1, so 3 times 
one six squared times five six, and that is point zero six nine. So about seven percent chance is the probability of two successes in three trials. So basically, uh, keep that in mind when you have given information. This is how you incorporate it into uh, the calculations.